So, Rory, welcome to Planet Spike Social. First of all, congratulations. Uh, you're off to Moto2 for 2023 and 24. Just talk us through it. How excited are you to be joining that paddock? It's not really sunk in yet, to be honest. It's so so fresh and, and happening that it's, uh, yeah, obviously being here at Brands this weekend, this is what this is what home feels like at the minute, you know, being with the guys at FS3, but uh, I'm, I'm so happy. Like, it's it's a dream come true for me. You know, it's something I've worked towards for my whole life. It's always been my goal to be in Grand Prix, and, you know, this is just the beginning. You know, it's, it's uh, the hard work starts now. You know, everything that we've put in up till now is to get to this point, and uh, now we're there, we've got to work even harder than we have ever before, and, uh, yeah, make the most of the opportunity. When did you first sort of find out about the opportunity and when did you first find out that it was yours and you'd got the chance? It's kind of just been one of these things, it's, it's, it's been on and off all, all kind of year really, you know, having done the two wild cards in American racing at Silverstone in Austria, that was a fantastic opportunity for me, you know, it's uh, it's not very often you get to do two wild cards alongside racing in, in, in the Bennett's British Superbike Championship anyway, you know, for British riders to secure wild cards in Grand Prix with a competitive team is very hard and yeah, it's uh, it's it's gonna be one of those things, you know. It's it's always been my 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 aim to be in, in the Grand Prix paddock, as I said. And you know, Moto Two, I think, is the best way in for me to go at the minute. And uh, you know, we just got to we had to evaluate what was what. And you know, signing with uh, John and Etan from Apex Management, who are also you know, work well, they also own the, the American race team. It worked worked very well in, in that respect. And you know, they've they've worked great as my managers, and you know, they've sorted out a lot of my deals. So it's. Uh, it was nice, for, nice of them to you know put me in, into their their American racing team for for 23 and 24 season. What are you most looking forward to about being a part of Moto Two for the next two years? Is it the fact of being in the Grand Prix product, or is it the fact of you're testing your wits against the best riders in the world? I'm unsure at the minute. I think I'll probably be better answering that question once you know once I'm there. But it's uh, you know for me it's, it's just an amazing opportunity. You know it's very rare for British riders now to get that that call up and that step up to. To go to Grand Prix, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that opportunity. And uh, to be honest, I'm just really looking forward to getting started and getting stuck into it. You know, it's, it's going to be a massive learning learning curve. I'm I'm fully aware of that, and I'm under no illusion. It's it's the toughest championship in the world, so it's uh, it's never going to be easy. But you know, I'm going to apply myself to it the very best I possibly can. And you know, a happy rider is a fast rider. So if I can be happy and, and comfortable with where I am, and you know, I've already got a good feeling going in there with a the team. I know a lot of my side of the garage who they'll be already, and you know, I, I spoke with them and done a lot of travelling with them when I was uh, doing the wild card. So it'll be it'll be really exciting to get it underway, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to to, to the whole learning experience really because it's going to be very interesting. You, it feels to me and looks to me like you're going from one family orientated friendly atmosphere to another. Was that a big factor for you going into somewhere which is fairly unknown? And it's quite a big world, MotoGP, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, you could get, definitely get lost in, in the paddock, you know, with there being a lot of foreign language being spoken. It's uh, it can be tough for the for British riders and you know maybe not the the more central European riders going into it because it's a it's a total different environment. But but being with the American racing team, you know, it's, it's, it's a totally English spoken team. You know, a lot of the team are either from the UK or um, from from America, so it, it does it does help out and it uh, definitely makes that transition a little bit easier. But I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. You know, I've spent a lot of time in, in the kind of European paddocks from when I was a bit younger, from 14 to 16, three years I was there for. And uh, yeah, it was, um, I'm looking forward to, to, being, to being there again and, uh, you know, getting back into the swing of it. You know, a lot of the faces in the paddock are familiar. I feel, I almost feel more at home in the Grand Prix paddock walking about in the wild cards than what I do in the BSP paddock, just because I spent so much, almost like my, my prime time growing up in my childhood, being in that paddock with a Red Bull MotoGP Rookies Cup, and then also doing the Junior World Championship, the CV series in Spain. So, I'm looking forward to getting back. How sad will it be for you to leave FS3, but also to leave BSP? You've just been saying off camera there that a lot of Kawasaki are very gutted that you're going to be leaving Kawasaki. So, are you a little bit sad to be leaving? Totally. I, I, there, there'll be tears. There'll be tears. Uh, tears about on Sunday. That's for sure. You know, I'm, I'm gutted to be leaving, leaving FS3, but. In one way, at least I'm leaving them to go to, to, to a different paddock, to the world stage, and not somewhere else in the in the BSB pit lane. So you know, I can always come back and always speak to them. But yeah, the guys, Darren, Nigel, my crew chief Matt, and my mechanics, Bear and Tom. You know, they've been they've been fantastic over the over the last two years. And you know, I, I wouldn't change anything for the world. It's been probably the best years of racing in my life so far. And uh, yeah, I owe, I owe a lot to them because you know, without their support and the their lovingness, I suppose you could say, it's uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't have had the, as good a time as what I've had. How are you going to tackle the next two years? Are you going in with a bit of a plan, or are you going in like your wild cards, very level-headed, take it easy, take it as it comes, and not throw the kitchen sink at it straight away? 
I think exactly what you just said there. You know, go in with his wild cards. Just be cool, calm, collected, understand things. It's not going to come overnight. I'm aware of that. It's it, you're racing with the best guys in the world, and I think having done the two wild cards, I've got a better understanding now of what the what the Grand Prix machinery is going to be like, what a Moto Two bike's like, the tires, the engine, the characteristics. So. I could go into the off season maybe a little bit more prepared than what I would have been if I hadn't done the wild cards, but you know it's going to be a, an off season of training hard in the gym on the bicycle and you know trying to do as much testing as we possibly can do and uh, yeah making sure we're ready for the season. What's the plan for Rory Skinner then? Are you going to be moving out of out of Scotland and into sunny Spain, or are you are you staying you staying put, staying at home, and staying grounded? I quite like to stay where I am. To be honest, you know I, I love where I live. If I had to buy a house somewhere, I still live at home with mum and dad. But if I had to buy a house somewhere, I'd, I'd choose to still live in Perthick and Ross. You know, it's for me, it's just you know it's home. All my friends are there. The people I go training with are there. The you know it's just it, it suits my kind of style of living. You know, I, I love mountain biking. I think everybody's quite aware that you know if I wasn't racing motorbikes, I'd be racing mountain bikes. So, yeah, you know, it, it just suits my my style of life. You know, I've got a lot of places, a lot of opportunity to to work and cycle and train, and you know, it's just my happy place. So, is if it starts becoming an issue and I do need to move abroad, you know, I'm not I'm not against that. I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to succeed. And yeah, you know, you got to put got to put the racing first at this point. So it's uh, yeah, I'll I'll do what I need to do, but. For the meantime, I'll be I'll be staying at home in sunny Scotland and uh, training over the winter. I'm gonna say, speaking from experience, don't move out of mum and dad's house. Stay where you are; it's the best place. <laughs> it's cheap digs. Yeah, exactly. Looking ahead, how much have you had? Uh, how much sort of words of wisdom or advice have you had from other riders in in the world paddock? Because Sam Lowe's give you any advice? Anybody like that, or has it been mainly from from John Hopkins? To be honest, I'm not I'm not actually had that much advice from from that many. You know, John's obviously the rider coach at American Racing Team and the kind of the team manager there as well. So, so it's a uh, yeah, John's done an awful lot to help me. His, his spotting is fantastic. I don't think there could be possibly anybody better for the job. You know, he's been there and done it himself. He's he's one of the greats in MotoGP. I know he maybe didn't win a world championship or or too many Grand Prix races, but you know, he's he was he's certainly one of the best. He's he's taken it to Valentino Rossi. He's taken it to all the all the greats and all the you know the, the big names over the years. So John's very experienced. He's he knows what he's talking about. And his, what, from when I done two wild cards and when he's come to a BSB round, his spotting is is spot on. Like it's things that. It's quite clear to see, but a lot of people don't pick up on it. And uh, having John in my corner, I think, would be a massive help. But in terms of other riders in the paddock, you know, Jake has been, he was really polite and really helpful with me at Silverstone. Sam, obviously, he was out injured, so he was taking care of himself there. But I've got a good relationship with a lot of the Brits in the paddock. I get, I've always gotten on well with them in the past. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, we're all competitors. We're all racing against each other. And I'll go about my business my own way, and they'll go about their business their own way. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do what we need to do. And, you know, I like to do things, I like to work on things myself and if I am really struggling I'm, I won't be scared to branch out and help but I like to work things out myself, it's the way I've always kind of done it and you know I'll have the, all the best people in my corner that I can possibly have so uh, yeah we'll work with it. Just finally then, looking at it probably what, eight years ago, maybe nine years ago you were sponsored by Bennett's, you brought through a young rider programme with Bennett's and now you're heading into the World Series, how much has not only Bennett's played a part in your career but also other sponsors to help you get to basically achieve what was a lifetime ambition for you yeah totally i mean the the sponsor personal sponsors that i've had stay on board you know dover fuel and solutions bennett's just you know bennett's obviously aren't on board anymore but for a large part of my junior career they were there and they were they were really helping me out and i'm very grateful of all my personal sponsors you know they've they've stuck by me over the years and they've really believed in me and it's, it's nice for me to finally have this opportunity to go to grand prix level it's it's where i want to be and it, i really want to reward them all by you know by having them with me on this journey and showing them that their their support and their hard work over the years and sticking by me when times were tough is, is really you know really kind of pulled off and you know we're we're in Grand Prix now well not yet but you know we're signed up to go and it's uh, it's an exciting opportunity for both me and uh, my sponsors from over the years. Well Rory from myself everyone at Bennett's everyone in the BSB paddock good luck and congratulations. Thank you very much.